Okay, so once again, welcome to Usapan, uh, nine, uh, Usapan 2022. I hope that after this career orientation, um, most of you will be in life and okay, your career and you want to pursue in the future. Okay, I am once again your mom, Jerry you know, the Assistant Academic Supervisor of the Nutrition and Dietetics Program of the College of Health and Allied Medical Profession of the University of Science. Team. So I will be presenting to you this afternoon the following information about the ND program of the University of Science. Team. And I hope that um, uh, you will be interested okay, to join our program. Okay, so we have here the presentation. This presentation is divided into six parts. First is uh, the definition. We have to define what RMD is, the registered nutrition uh, nutritionist dietitian. Then a little bit history of the program in the University of San Agustin. Then we go on to the nutrition, nutrition and quality objectives of the program. Then what to expect okay, when you enroll in the university okay, or in the program. And of course, the career opportunities of the nutrition and dietetics methods. Okay, so let us begin with defining what a registered nutritionist dietitian is. So according to the International Confederation of Dietetic Association, or ICTA, dietitian nutritionists are professionals who apply the science of food and nutrition to promote health, prevent and keep disease to optimize the health of individuals, groups, communities, and population. According to the PRC Board of Nutrition and Dietetics, registered nutritionists, dietitians, or food and nutrition experts who have met the following criteria to earn the R and credentials. So first, of course, um, dapat nakakomplete a minimum of bachelor's degree in a uh, chad accredited university or colleges in the Philippines. Here in Western Visayas, there are only two universities that offer a bachelor's of science in nutrition and dietetics. First is the St. Paul's University in Iloilo, and the second, of course, is the University of San Agustin. They completed a CHED supervised practicum program in accredited food service, public health community, and hospital dietetics establishment, and passed. The Nutrition and Dietetics Licensure Examination administered by the PRC Board of Nutrition and Dietetics. After you have passed your um, licensure examination, you will have to register and get your professional license from PRC also. And then the license is the assurance to the public that the RD is competent to practice the professional guided by the professional code, uh, professional code of ethics and standards of professional and practice competencies, safe, effective, person-centered, time efficient, and equitable. Now let's have a brief review of the history of the MD program in the university. Okay, the, the, um, the, the program, the Nutrition and Dietetics program has been in the university for over 60 years. Okay, it started 1962. Uh, as Bachelor of Science in Nutrition. It was under the College of Education. Okay, so I will just point out the key um, events. Okay, and then in 1965, the first batch of graduates of BS Nutrition um, graduates. And then we have 1970, the first batch of graduates of Bachelor of Science in Nutrition or in Food and Nutrition with 12 students. And in 1979, one of the pioneers of nutrition and dietetics in Western Visayas, uh, Dr. Lilia S. Tavis, officially headed the nutrition program. Then in 1981, the gradual phasing out of the BSFS or your BS Food and Nutrition Science with the introduction of the BS Nutrition and Dietetics as per DEX, our recommendation. DEX is the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, now your DEX. Yeah. And then we have here the awards received by Dr. Uh, Lydia Tavas, author of the years. And by 2011, we got our first, or one of our first um, top matchers, Ms. Raisel Pauline S. Jo. We landed 10th place in the licensure examination. And by 2013, the program was transferred to College of Management and Accountancy. And by 2016, 
it was once again transferred or joined together with the other uh, allied medical courses, your college, or your BS pharmacy, your BS uh, MLS, and your BS nursing. Now the College of Health and Medical Allied Profession. Okay, and by 2017, we have another uh, top lecture for a large examination, Ms. Pauline Graves uh, Tifa Bolayan. Okay, now for the mission of the program, the Nutrition Dietetics Program commits itself to provide students with sound scientific knowledge and beginning professional skills strengthened by deep Christian insights aimed of producing the Augustinian nutritionist dietitian with a heart aflame and a mind ready to contemplate the temporal and the uh, transcendental dimensions of man. For the vision, a loving and nurturing community in the pursuit of academic excellence and the holistic transformation of the person in the delivery of quality health care uh, for common good. For the quality objective, the Nutrition and Dietetics Program commits to provide quality and discipline nutrition and dietetics education through integral formation, instruction, community expansion, research, and innovation through continuous improvement of its services to meet client satisfaction. Okay, so BSND or the BS Nutrition and Dietetics Program is a four-year program consisting of general education and professional courses. The first and second semesters of the fourth year is devoted to field practice in hospital dietetics, uh, food service, community nutrition, and public health nutrition. So what to expect when you enroll to the uh, BSND program? Okay, so we have here some of the courses. We have under foods and food service system, here we have courses that teach students the science behind food, like why do egg whites cook faster than egg yolks, or why did your bread feel to rise? Also, here students learn how to plan menu and meals and standardized recipes for different occasions. They experience how to allocate budgets for each meals by the ingredients uh, themselves, prepare the ingredients and present the final product. Students also learn how to be managers and supervisors, and they learn how to manage food establishments. Now, under your public health, nutrition, and research, here students experience or the students experience measurement of the components of nutrition, particularly your anthropometric measurements, your weight, height, how to solve for your BMI, how to assess dietary intake of individuals. Students also conduct situational analysis of a community. They identify uh, a major or pre-existing uh, nutrition problems in the community and, of course, diagnose the community. After identifying the existing nutrition problems, the student will plan and implement the most appropriate and feasible nutrition program to solve the identified problem. Here, under your nutrition and clinical dietetics. So first, nutrition basics, okay, like how or like what will happen if an individual's protein and calorie intake is um, insufficient, what vitamins and minerals are involved. Okay. The students also learn the nutrition care process from uh, assessment of the individual, diagnosing the individual of this nutrition problem, planning and intervention, and monitoring and evaluation of the results of the intervention. The application of the nutrition care process to individuals with the different conditions is also, uh, are also experienced here by the students. And then the discussion of the role of nutrition in the different life stages from preconception to senior years. We also have our electives, like your entrepreneurial mind, your regional and international cuisine, nutrition and emergency disaster, and nutrition in palliative and special care. Okay, so we have also facilities here used by the ND students, used for uh, student center to change learning experience. We have our food laboratory, a state of art facility located at Dr. Chusoy uh, International Building, also known as your Hotel Santa Monica. Okay, here lab, uh, laboratory activities on meal preparation and presentation are conducted. Okay, this 
laboratory. The laboratory is shared among the nutrition dietetics, the HRM students, the tourism students, and the culinary arts students. Okay, so I have here a video of the food laboratory, as well as the hotel center. Okay, so in addition to the food laboratory, we also have our nutrition clinic slash laboratory located at the second floor of the Moa Hall building. The nutrition clinic and laboratory is still under construction, therefore we cannot provide pictures. Uh, the laboratory activities expected in the uh, nutrition clinic and laboratory are in your nutrition assessment, your meal planning, diet competition for patients and our clients. The nutrition clinic will also provide services such as nutrition counseling and education to the students and staff of the university as well as referral from the university medical clinic. Okay, so we have here the nutrition and dietetics internship, what to expect during the internship. Okay, you have a total of a student have to uh, complete a total of 1,200 hours of supervised internship practicum or practicum. Okay. It's divided into three fields. First is your clinical dietetics or your hospital dietetics. Okay, so for the clinical dietetics, you're expected to have or to perform hospital rounds, plan and prepare, meals for patient, compute diet, and nutrition counseling. A total of 600 hours is allocated for the clinical dietetics. We are uh, affiliated with hospitals like St. Paul's Hospital, your Western Visayas Medical Center, and your Iloilo Doctors Hospital. So during the pandemic, since um, we were limited or limited face-to-face -face, or even face-to-face -face was not allowed, face-to-face -face internship was not allowed, we had our um, virtual internship with Veterans Memorial Medical Center. They were in the students who uh, performed their clinical dietetics online. Okay, so here are some of the pictures of their um, outputs. For the public health nutrition, the students are expected to perform nutrition assessment, program planning, and nutrition education. It is a little bit similar to the hospital or clinical dietetics, but the patient here is the community. It's 300 hours. We're expected to, to finish 300 hours in public health nutrition, and we have to adopt a community. So usually, in Saleganes, so we have a community there. But now, during the pandemic, um, we adopted an online community. Okay, we adopted MD students, and all activities were performed online the assessment, the, the uh, program intervention, and all the implementation were done online. So we have here 
uh, activities like Zumba classes and your webinars. Then for foods and food service, 300 hours. Okay. Um, we are affiliated with Waffle Time Incorporated, their commissary kitchen. Okay. The whole food service process from procurement, receiving, storing, preparation, distribution, and services experienced by the intern. And now we are affiliated with Hospitality Institute of America, Philippines, a provider for our uh, virtual internship for food service. So we have here testaments from the students or ilang experiences during their online internship. If you want to be just take a screenshot of it. Okay. And for the career opportunities, okay. For the career opportunities, our, uh, the field of nutrition and dietetics is wide. Okay, you can work at hospitals, at a health a maintenance organization, or other health care facilities. You can work as registered nutritionist dietitian there, a clinical dietitian, a, a, a therapeutic dietitian, or an administrative dietitian. As a community and public health setting, you could be a public health officer. Okay, you could do assessments okay, and surveys for public health. For food and nutrition related business and industries, you could be supervisors, you could be managers, you could be a quality assurance officers. Okay, we have also private practice. You can have your own private practice, you can own your uh, you can have your own clinic, or you can have your own business. Okay, then uh, you could also join the sports and nutrition and corporate wellness programs, or you could be just like us in the university and the medical center in Washington. Or you could be in the research area. So you can join the Food and Nutrition Research Institute, FNRI, under DOST, as a um, one of the surveyors. Okay, so we have here, once again, a uh, alumni testimony. Okay, you can screenshot this if you want to read. And yes, be one of us. Uh, we all in the University of San Agustin kind of Nutrition Dietetics Program. And I hope that this uh, career orientation and the, or this presentation of the Nutrition Dietetics Program has piqued your interest okay, to join the program. Thank you very much.